Here in British Columbia, Norwegian companies, these multinationals have come in, they've privatized salmon, and they're pushing wild Pacific salmon to the brink of extinction. In Chile, Norwegian companies spread this deadly virus called in infectious salmon anemia. This virus spread from Norway to Chile and it wiped out the entire industry. It caused millions and millions of dollars of damages. Uh, the whole uh, sector had to slaughter their fish and production uh, was decimated. The Norwegian government is the largest shareholder in CERMAC, which operates here as Mainstream Canada. They uh, are suing me for defamation and the case centers around statements and a campaign that Gaia made, uh, salmon farming kills, salmon farming spreads disease. It's a question of free speech. And this is the Norwegian government effectively abusing the Canadian court system to muzzle free speech and information. It's a clear attempt at these companies, this Norwegian government owned company, to stop the release of disease information and to stop the spread of the truth. CERMAC's own scientific research published in 2008 shows that ISA, this deadly disease infectious salmon anemia, spread from Norway by a company it part owns to Chile decimating the industry. That's scientific fact. That's been admitted publicly by CERMAC. Yet at the same time, uh, my lawsuit centers upon uh, a, a statement that I made, salmon farming spreads disease. So they're arguing against their own scientific research. It's, it's staggering uh, their contempt for the truth and that they're ignoring their own science. The industry has been sponsored by the government provincially and federally and they're doing this at the expense of the people, the expense of our futures. If we allow the privatization of our ocean spaces, if we allow these Norwegian multinationals to come in and plunder our wild resources, the only salmon that we'll be left with in British Columbia is farmed Atlantic salmon. We need to stand up and demand wild Pacific salmon. This is an icon of British Columbia. 85% of the population here in British Columbia voted last year that they wanted wild Pacific salmon as the symbol of British Columbia. That's a very powerful symbol and it goes beyond just symbolic. This is a resource that First Nations here, indigenous people have depended upon for generations. And it's only in the last 20 years that these Norwegian owned companies have come in and they're pushing wild salmon and the cultures and the healthy communities that depend upon wild salmon to the brink of extinction. The wild salmon is a symbol of everything that's good about British Columbia. But if people want wild salmon and the whole economy, the forest, the bears, the whole ecosystem that depends upon healthy wild salmon, they're going to have to stand up for wild salmon. It's something they're going to have to fight. And this really is a fight against the corporate power, against these Norwegian multinationals, against the Canadian government who wants to see the privatization of our coastal commons. If wild salmon weren't here, we would have salmon farms expanding up and down the coast, we would have oil and gas, we would have pipelines, we would have oil tankers. That's the vision that the Canadian government has for British Columbia, the Nigeria of the north, the coastal export economy where all our resources are sucked out of British Columbia and exported to China, Japan and Asia. They're trying to suck the marrow out of British Columbia. And I think people should wake up and smell the coffee and realize that unless they speak out, take to the streets, join Alexandra Morton and the wild salmon people and demand democracy and to listen to the will of the people. Remember that 85% of people here in British Columbia want wild salmon. They voted that they want wild Pacific salmon as the icon of British Columbia. That is being ignored by the federal government. But those 85% of British Columbians, some three, four million people need to stand up and speak out and say that they want wild salmon. It's not good enough just being there in the background and being apathetic. You need to stand up and demand it.